Love Them Knives channel. Hey, the Isham design. This is not the Mega Ethereum. This is the Min Ethereum. So what do you think? We've gone from Mega to Mina. And Mini is what this is. The Mini Ethereum. Elijah Isham design. Like the Mega Ethereum, yes. But this is the smaller knife. This is a line or lock. And it's very light, small, three inch blade, little over seven inches overall, just barely. How light is that? That is really light. Let's throw it on the scales. Or I could just read you the weight, but then that'd be boring, right? And sometimes we catch people with typos, so let's throw it on there. Three ounces. Oh, my God. Uh, that's pretty light, actually. 85.2 grams. See? This thing, you don't even know it weighs anything. Oh, let's put something, another knife on here. Compare it. 311 grams. <laughs> so, yes, fulcrum, artisan cutlery, isn't that craziness? But 85 grams. This is super, super lightweight. Three ounces. Can you flick it? Yes, you can. So, nice cutaway here. Uh, the detent's not so overwhelming that it's not nice and flickable with the middle finger. Love the design. You know, you get a good contact patch here, don't you? I mean, like flipper knives, they will have that issue where the flipper tab makes them like this. This, nice. So maybe kind of you could do some cutting and some chef's work with it, I guess. Probably be an expensive chef's knife. Uh, seeing as how it's about $200, about $195, although at $195, of course, currently it's out of stock at uh, White Mountain. That's where I got mine, but um, they come in and out. You know, then it's basically almost $20 off with the LTK discount code. So you're at what, $175? Okay, I can do that. Yeah, all of a sudden, that's starting to look just not that far over 150 bucks. Uh, titanium backspacer, titanium pocket clip, right hand tip up only, liner lock, easy to access that and disengage the liner. How's the lock up? That's pretty hardy. It's 35%. And, you know, like I said, you got jimping to kind of get your contact there with that liner. And it comes in a box with, you know, a Velcro pouch. They've changed their packaging up. See, so you got the plastic that the knife goes into in the pouch. And then in here is like your microfiber cloth and your paperwork and all the good stuff here. And peek and look. Oh, we got other things too. So, paperwork to read through. Magnetic closure, the box being black and kind of uh, a certain texture, it seems to attract every particle of dust, but it has an outer slip cover thing, which uh, I don't have here somehow. In any case, Minitherium, there you go, 2.95 inch blade. So it's legal where, you know, you can't have anything over, you know, Three and a half inches or 3.2 inches, that kind of thing. Very light, very nice, easy to handle. Drop and fold. So this is one where at least your detent ball, it gets over that with the initial drop. And it's, it's not hydraulic drop. It's just such a light blade. It's a little hard to do that. With time, as it smooths out, it'll drop better. It's, it's you know, center dried up. There's no blade player lock rock on this knife. Really nice. And let's measure it out just for the heck of it. You know, we always like to confirm our measurements. So 2.95 depends on where you want to measure to. I mean, 
to a degree, I'm seeing a three inch cutting edge and more like uh, three and three sixteenths back to that bolster there. But up here, right there at three. Okay, so, you know, uh, 80 millimeters or less, depending on where you want to measure. Yeah, 7.1 inches overall. They're they're pretty good on that. And just a hair under 18 uh, centimeters. Now, blade stock. Let's see what we can come up with there. About 3 millimeters. Not quite. And 0.113 of an inch okay 0.115 in there let me get the calipers for this 11.7 uh, okay let's square this up 0.45 of an inch 11.4 millimeters so this is more slender actually than than the pm2 the pm2 is two is more like a 0.47 See, it's not, well, it's close. It's really close. 0.45 uh, instead of 11.4, it's 11.5. Okay, let's just call it an even deal here. Now, blade stock is definitely thicker on the PM2. And you can tell that. But this is very light. Uh, lighter than this. This is another, this is like 3.8, 3.0. So, and here's your comparison on size much smaller than the pm2 even reverse our aspect angle here check it out yeah much smaller knife and pretty pretty much getting close to the same price actually of course it's the s110 knife but i think this was more like 150 dollars and this could be 175 with your discount. So that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Flipper tabs far forward, but really it's pretty intuitive. The knife is not that long, so it's really easy to click that baby out there. And you know what? Being a liner lock, that's pretty good detent there. And even though it's good detent, you can still spring that uh, because finger flicking becomes more of an issue when the detent is stiffer because you're having to pop it out of there. But this one gives both ways. And the detent here, I can't throw this out. It's too light, uh, the mass of the blade and everything. So, no, I can't throw it out. But I'd, I'd call it a solid... <sighs> I'd give it a five and a half. It's pretty snappy. Check it out. Let me try and fail it for you. See? Yeah, that's that's pretty snappy. So, yeah. I, I That's a good solid five and a half. It's not brutal like a six, six and a half would be. Uh, but, yeah, this is, this is nice. Might get a little bit more forgiving with time as it gets flipped more and more, but... That's a, that, you know, that's a really good, appropriate detent. A little on the stronger side than a lot of other flippers are. But still, nice. And of course, well, needless to say, it's an Isham design. The design flows. Okay. I like everything about it. Uh, it's really light, easy to carry, good contact patch. Fairly slender blade stock should be good at slicing. We tested it. I'll give you the link to our test results. That's why it was out of pocket for a while. Oh, there's my Rockwell divot right there. I can't remember the HRC right off the top of my head. I'll try and put it in down here. But yes, it tested it as real S35VN. Needless to say, a lot of these knives have tested so true that... It's more an, uh, an issue with the HRC, with the heat treat, than it is, is it real, whatever they're claiming it to be, S35, VG10, M390, whatever. All those of, most knives that we tested, it tested true as far as the blade, uh, the steel type, 
but the HRC has been all over the place. So that's where you really bet it down because uh, there's your performance right there with the heat treat. In any case, sweet little knife. Small, super carryable. I think there's some fans of the Minitherium out there. It's been a while. I mean, I bought it, didn't really pay that much attention to it. It's really one of those kind of sleeper knives. I mean, at least it was for me. There's just so much floating around there that revisiting a different size of the Megatherium just kind of floated past me. But really when you hyper-focus in on this knife, you realize that this is really well done and well thought out and well executed by Kaiser. Um, and you know, you've got some go forward ability here. Oh, will it be a knife? Well, I think that is obvious. Right there, pretty sharp right out of the box. Stone wash blade. Got the dimple. So we know it's been tested. And yes, it's a good one. Thank you, Kaiser. You're doing it again. Oh, their new 2019 model lineup is really fascinating. So hold on for that. We'll be going through that. I was a little disappointed in 2018. But 2019, wow. Uh, I'm seeing some new designers, some different things coming out that are pretty... Uh, Pretty interesting, actually. So we'll be going down that road, which is nice because, you know, Kaiser kind of uh, kind of missed me in 2018 to a degree. I just uh, didn't really engage with a whole lot of what was going on there. And I'm not sure there was a whole lot going on there. But 2019's coming out roaring. So hold on for that. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a, this is a cool little piece. You like the three inch blades, you like a, a really nice design that's still a good user knife um, and so easy to carry. Uh, this is not, you know, the $250, $300 thing here. I mean, so this is really feasible in that way as an EDC. Take care, my friends. Hey, you know what we do around here. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.